Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and meandering streams, there lived a young man named Koji. Koji was known for his insatiable curiosity and a heart that sought meaning beyond the ordinary. He spent his days exploring the lush landscapes that surrounded his village, always in search of wisdom and understanding. One day, as Koji strolled through the village market, he heard whispers of a wise old monk who resided on the outskirts of the village. It was said that the monk possessed profound knowledge and insight, and people from far and wide sought his guidance. Intrigued by the prospect of gaining wisdom, Koji decided to seek out the old monk and learn from him. The journey to the monk's abode was filled with winding paths and ancient trees, their leaves whispering secrets of ages long past. As Koji reached the entrance of the monastery, he was greeted by the scent of incense and the distant sound of a babbling brook. The monk, with a serene smile etched on his weathered face, welcomed Koji into his humble dwelling. Welcome, young seeker. What brings you to my humble abode? The old monk inquired, his eyes sparkling with a deep knowing. Koji bowed respectfully and replied, Great master, I have heard tales of your wisdom, and I seek to learn the secrets of a fulfilling life. The monk nodded knowingly and invited Koji to join him for tea. They sat in silence for a while, surrounded by the tranquility of the monastery. The old monk poured tea into two simple clay cups and handed one to Koji. The aroma of the tea filled the air as the monk spoke, to truly understand the nature of life, one must first empty their cup. Perplexed, Koji looked at his cup, which was already full of tea. The monk observed Koji's confusion and gently explained, just as your cup is filled with tea, so is your mind filled with preconceptions, judgments, and expectations. To receive the wisdom I offer, you must first empty your cup, let go of what you think you know and approach each moment with a beginner's mind. Koji pondered the monk's words and, realizing the depth of the lesson, took a deep breath. He emptied his cup both metaphorically and literally, pouring the tea back into the pot. The monk smiled approvingly. Good, the old monk said. Now, let us explore the essence of life and the path to true understanding. As the days turned into weeks, Koji became a regular visitor to the monk's monastery. Each encounter with the old monk brought new insights and teachings. They walked in the monastery gardens, contemplated the stillness of the pond, and meditated under the ancient cherry blossom tree. One day, the monk handed Koji a small, empty cup. Take this cup and fill it with water from the stream, he instructed. Koji eagerly followed the monk's guidance and returned with the cup filled to the brim. The monk looked at the cup and then at Koji, his eyes filled with gentle wisdom. Now, Koji, tell me, is the cup truly full? The monk asked. Confused, Koji looked at the cup, which appeared to be full of water. However, he sensed there was more to the monk's question than met the eye. After a moment of reflection, he replied, while the cup is filled with water, there is still room for air. It is not entirely full. The monk nodded approvingly. Indeed, young one. As with this cup, so it is with your mind. Even when you think it is full, there is always room for more understanding, for new perspectives and insights. Do not become rigid in your beliefs, let your mind be as open as the sky. As the seasons changed and the village transformed with the passage of time, Koji's understanding deepened. He learned to embrace the impermanence of life, recognizing that change was the only constant. The lessons of the empty cup became a guiding light on his journey, helping him navigate the complexities of existence with grace and humility. One day, as Koji sat with the old monk under the cherry blossom tree, he asked, Master, how can one find true peace and contentment in a world filled with challenges and uncertainties? The monk smiled knowingly and handed Koji another cup, this one made of delicate porcelain. This cup represents your heart and its capacity for love and compassion. Just as you can pour water into this cup, fill your heart with love for yourself and others. Koji took the porcelain cup in his hands, feeling its delicate weight. He understood that, like the empty cup, his heart needed to be open and ready to receive the beauty and hardships of life. However, the monk continued, 
do not cling to the water in the cup. Allow it to flow freely, just as love and compassion should flow through your life without attachment. In this way, you will find true peace and contentment. With these words, the old monk imparted his final teachings to Koji. The young man, now a wise and humble seeker, bowed in gratitude. The lessons of the empty cup had transformed his perspective on life, and he carried the wisdom of the old monk in his heart as he journeyed back to the village. Upon his return, Koji shared the teachings he had received with his fellow villagers. The simple yet profound wisdom of the empty cup resonated with their hearts, and the village began to embrace the path of mindful living. The once bustling marketplace became a haven for shared understanding, compassion, and a collective journey toward a more meaningful existence. As Koji continued to walk his path, he understood that the empty cup was not a destination but a lifelong journey. The lessons learned under the cherry blossom tree echoed through the hills and streams, reaching the hearts of those willing to listen. And so, the tale of the empty cup became a timeless story, whispered from generation to generation, a reminder that in the emptiness, one finds the fullness of life.